That document, signed by Namirembe Diocesan Secretary, Reverend Canon Nelson Kawesa, states that the church will take 75% of the money raised during the funeral service, while relatives of the deceased will get 25%. But even as they acknowledge the legitimacy of this document, there are voices that say these were not the percentages agreed upon. Among these voices is Reverend Samuel Mwonge, who heads the mission and evangelical department of Namirembe Diocese. We resolve that this money should be divided and we ensure that 75% goes to the family and 25% stays for the church. Mwonge says the matter has been debated over the last two years after the church realized that some Christians were using the funeral services to raise funds for burial expenses. Many years back, Christians have demanded that they needed help uh, of any kind through collecting offertory in church. He says the church also realized that it was incurring a lot of expenses in organizing funeral services. We also have to use electricity, we have to use water, because our toilets are all water. It was then decided that churches split the cost of organizing the services through sharing the offerings from the services. To ensure that there is decent burial of the person who has gone. Reverend Mwonge says this arrangement is only meant for churches under Namirembe Diocese and it takes immediate effect. But people should know that this is a result of a demand from Christians who belong to the Anglican Church. So if you don't belong to the Anglican Church, then you can rest in peace. Namirembe Diocese is comprised of one cathedral deanery, six archdeaconeries, 61 parishes, and 342 churches. Joyce Nakato. NTV tonight.